Right now is normally one of the busiest travel seasons of the year, but instead of traveling for Easter, most people now have canceled their trips. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley shows us tonight, many people are now learning that travel insurance does not cover a pandemic. So it's either, you know, take a chance and, you know, get them infected or lose the money. Chris Brown from Buffalo is not happy. This past November, he paid $5,100 so five people in his family, including his 70-year-old mother, could travel to Ireland from Canada. Brown paid for travel insurance just in case. Yes, we paid $313 for this travel insurance. Now with the COVID-19 pandemic, Brown wants to cancel his June trip. It's very frustrating because, you know, it's... I don't make a lot of money. But to his surprise, the travel insurance will not refund all his money. And Chris Brown would be out more than $3,000. Don't just keep all my money, because then that's not fair. Then what's the point of me buying the insurance? The Browns are not the only ones in this situation. So we're seeing a lot of people who are trying to either cancel or postpone their trips. When COVID-19 became a known threat earlier this year, the AAA said travel insurance companies decided the pandemic was not a reason to cancel a trip and get a refund. That's in black and white and it's in the small print. AAA advises people with health issues to try and get a medical note from your doctor saying you cannot go. That should help with your travel insurance because it will not cover if you just say you don't want to travel because of coronavirus. Chris Brown tried doing that for his mother, and still, the travel insurance company refused. So either I take what I can now, or I lose it all and take the chance to lose it all in a month. Things are changing quickly, with many travel vendors offering flexibility for changes. But that flexibility is not yet extending into the summer season. And I think a lot of them are remaining hopeful that maybe they'll actually be able to travel at that time. Right now, it is easier to reschedule a trip rather than cancel it. So a lot of the travel vendors are being flexible. If you're willing to postpone rather than to cancel, maybe you could go later this year or even next year. They'll give you a travel credit to work with, and that's usually the easiest thing to obtain. Unfortunately, there are no easy answers as the whole travel industry is now overwhelmed with requests for changes. At Riley 7 Eyewitness News.